Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how many genotypes can produce a gene with 8 distinct alleles and if you know how to solve this problem or feel that you can solve this problem uh, you may stop video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, first I want to give you a theory how to solve this problem and then I'm going to show you how to solve this problem uh, with simplified mathematical method. So it would take you just seconds uh, in order to solve analogous problems um, with any number of alleles, with 5 or 25 or even 100. So um, first of all, what is the allele? Allele is just another uh, variant of the gene. For example, imagine that there is a gene and um, there is another gene that is different in only one nucleotide. So we can say that this is going to be allele. So alleles represent the same gene with uh, slight variations. So how we are going to approach this problem and first of all, we should understand that uh, this question about uh, alleles in deployed organism and uh, we are humans, we are deployed and most of the organisms on the earth are deployed except say uh, bacteria and some plants, uh, bacteria that is uh, monoploid and plants can be polyploid, most of them deployed also but some of them are polyploid triploid, tetraploid, and so on. So, uh, let's assume that this question about uh, normal diploid organism. And that means that uh, normal diploid organism have um, two sets of chromosomes and that means that one set from the, say, mother side and another from the father side. So, I'm using different colors. So, this is the same chromosome, but one uh, that you got uh, from mother side, another one from the father side. So we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and total number is 46, but uh, half of them would be the same, just uh, we got them from uh, different sides, one, from, one set from mother side and another set from the father side. And imagine that here we have uh, one gene in this locus and here at the same locus on the second chromosome we also have the same gene. But as I told earlier, the same gene can be uh, present as different alleles. So for example here we may have allele A and on the other homologous chromosome we may have allele B. But of course uh, uh, mutations can happen in any place uh, on the gene and um, each mutation may lead to new form of the same gene that we call allele. So there can be more than two different alleles. For example, it can be allele A, B and C, D, E, F and so on. So the number of the possible alleles is just innumerous. It can be hundreds and thousands. So uh, in our example, the question about uh, how many possible combinations can be if we have uh, eight uh, distinct alleles. So here we may have uh, allele A and here allele B. We also may have another combination C and B and D and F, so on. So total number is eight alleles and how many combinations this eight alleles may, can make. Uh, you may say that this is going to be um, eight alleles can be here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and so on and A's, eight the same alleles can be here. So the total number we have just to multiply eight by eight and total number would be 64. But this is not the correct answer. And here uh, I want to show you why. 
uh, but I'm not going to use as example eight alleles because uh, I have to draw a uh, too large table. I will use example with five alleles, but uh, the same rules would apply. So imagine that we have five alleles. So the first allele would be A, second B, C, D, and E. So uh, when we have uh, these five alleles, of course, uh, for example, this can be from the uh, father side and the same five alleles can be from the mother side. So this is can be A, B, C, D and E. So the same five alleles. And in order to find how many combinations they can make, we just have to make a kind of Punnett square. And now we would be able to find all the combinations. And if you think that number of combinations, different combinations is 25, you just multiply uh, 5 alleles by 5. So as you see, we have here 25 cells. It is not so. So uh, imagine that here in the first cell we would get a a in the second cell we would have b a c a here d a here and e a here next row we would have next column we would have um, a b b b c b d b and e B. Next column we would have A C B C C C D C and E C. One more column A D B D C D D D and E D. And the last one, A, E, B, E, C, E, D, E, and E, E. So how many uh, uh, different combinations we have here? And uh, actually, uh, this is going to be a number of unique combinations. So here we have number of unique combinations and as you see we have uh, only half of the uh, square that we count. Why? Because imagine that here just uh, see that here we have BA and a b here and this is going to be the same because when we have a cell uh, imagine that this is a cell and this is one chromosome this is another one uh, it doesn't matter there is no left and right within a cell so uh, a can be here and b can be here or vice versa it doesn't matter as long as we have a and b within one chromosome uh, within one cell, uh, within one nucleus, we can say that um, this is AB genotype or BA that is the same. So AB equals to BA. So that's why we count only BA um, genotype once, but do not count AB because this is the same as you see here. So we count only unique genotypes plus as you see we have here also unique genotypes that present here only once so as you see here we have AA, BB, CC, DD and AE that present only once in the whole uh, this table 
that's why we include this uh, unique um, genotypes and the total number as you see would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So when we have for example 5 alleles um, in the gene pool that would give us a number of unique genetic uh, combinations 15. So how we can solve for 8 uh, alleles? This is very easy. Now when we see how to solve this problem using Punnett square we can use mathematical formula. So as you see, uh, first we have here five alleles. Here we would have uh, eight alleles. So our square would be eight by eight. That means that we have to multiply eight by eight and we are going to get 64 cells. Then we have to count, uh, we have to deduct the number of the unique uh, combinations that present only once so minus 8 here we have 5 we have square 5 by 5 and 5 uh, unique combinations that present only once and we have to divide by 2 so as you see uh, this part below this line so let me use a different color for example yellow for this unique combinations uh, so as you see the part that uh, below and above uh, this line uh, would equal so here we would have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and here we also would have ten so that's why we multiply uh, in our case, in order to find uh, uh, the answer for our question, we have to multiply 8 by 8, then subtract number of unique combinations that present only once in the table, and this is going to be 8, and divide by 2. So we would find the number of uh, those combinations that is not unique. and. For example, here, with this example, this is going to be 5 multiplied by 5. We are going to get 25, and then we have to subtract 5. This is going to be 20 divided by 2. We are going to get 10, so this number of combinations that is uh, repeated twice here, plus 5 combinations. So here, we have to add 8. So now we can get an answer. As you see, 8 multiplied by 8 going to be 64 minus 8 we are going to get 56 divided by 2 we are going to get 28 plus 8 we are going to get 36. So the total number of combinations would be 36. And once again we can solve mathematically uh, for this table, so with 5 alleles we are going to get 5 multiplied by 5 minus 5 divided by 2 uh, plus 5. So 5 multiplied by 5 would be 25 minus 5 20 divided by 2 going to be 10 plus 5 the answer would be 15. 15 uh, number of unique combinations. This is what we got here. So as you see, this is now very easy to uh, calculate any number of uh, uh, alleles, even if the question would be about how many different combinations possible for 100 alleles. This would take you less than a minute to calculate uh, the number using your calculator. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video.
please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.